So you have a shady garden. This does not mean you are limited to just plain green foliage plants. Whether it's a spot under a tree or near the side of the house that sees little sun, there is quite a variety of flowering plants that will not only thrive under these dimly lit locations, but will provide dazzling vivid color. Let's take a look at our top 15 flowering plants that will thrive in shade. Let's start with perennial plants. These shade tolerant flowers can be planted once and will return with lovely flowers year after year. A stilby with their fern like foliage and fluffy flower heads prefer a spot that is moist to wet. The flowers, which are available in an array of colors, start to bloom early in the summer months. They can tolerate part shade to heavy shade, but growth may be stunted in heavy shade. The Bleeding Heart is adored for its arching stems of heart-shaped flowers on this delicate looking but tough perennial in the spring. These plants prefer a partially shaded spot in moist soil. Some species may go dormant once the hot weather of summer arrives, but will return again the next year. Hellebore are among the earliest plants to bloom, beginning late in the winter season. The nodding flowers are often fragrant and long-lasting with deep green foliage that remains aesthetically pleasing for the remainder of the season. This plant thrives in dappled light or even shade, even flourishing among tree roots near the edge of a canopy of large trees. Plus, this perennial is often disliked by deer and other animal pests. Although one of the best features of Jacob's Ladder is its fern-like foliage, the plant does erupt in late spring with blue or white flowers similar to phlox. This low-maintenance perennial prefers a woodland setting in a shady to semi-shady spot. Too much sun could scorch the foliage. Plant Siberian Iris for its lush, long-lasting blooms and low-maintenance, narrow foliage, which remains attractive even after the blooms are spent. The almost butterfly-like flowers bloom late spring on sturdy, upright stems. This plant is also very tolerant of wet sites in partial shade. Toad Lily flowers are attractive in the shady landscape, blooming in a range of uniquely spotted colors in the fall months. Flowers may be star or bell-shaped, depending on which variety of Toad Lily is growing. They thrive in either part shade to full shade in soil that is moist but not overly soggy. The most interesting award goes to Lungwort. With their spotted leaves and blooms that open with varying colors, this plant is one of the first shade lovers to bloom in the spring. Plant at the front of the border where it will stay short and spread steadily but not invasively. Lungwort performs best in part to full shade. The Sweet Violet, a member of the Viola family, is a great front of the border perennial providing a long bloom time. The sweet pansy flowers bloom in abundance in spring with often sporadic rebloom throughout the growing season. Partial shade is recommended along with an early summer trim to produce fresh new growth. Tiarella, also known as the foam flower, is one of my favorite flowering perennials to use at the front of the border or to edge a shady walkway. These low growing leafy plants bloom for an extended period of time with either pink or white flowers that appear above the foliage. Even when not in bloom, the foliage is showy and often multicolored depending on the variety. Columbine blooms in a variety of colors for several weeks in the spring. Plus, the bell-shaped flowers are a favorite to hummingbirds and make a nice cut flower. This airy plant bears attractive dark green foliage when not in bloom, and be sure to cite this one in part shade in soil that is well-drained but not dry. The next six plants on our list are annuals in most growing zones. They may not come back year after year, but you cannot beat them for sheer flower power. Begonias are one of the most popular annuals for shade and for good reason. They are very easy to grow, require little maintenance, and are not picky about soil or light. There are literally hundreds if not thousands of varieties of begonias to choose from, including the common low-growing wax types, to tuberous types with their large multi-petaled flowers, to the dragon wing types that form eye-catching masses of flowers on plants that typically weep downwards, making them excellent for containers or hanging baskets. Many begonias can be kept as low light house plants as well. For tips on growing them indoors, please check the link in the description. Fuchsias are prized for their bright tube shaped blooms that are adored by hummingbirds. Sight this plant out of the hot afternoon sun and shelter it from damaging high winds. This plant will bloom all summer long in varying shades of pink, white, purple, and even bicolors. There are dozens of different types of impatience with the most common low growing type being the most popular but also be on the lookout for double impatience with their heavy petal count and New Guinea impatience with their darker, larger leaves and more intensely colored flowers. All will bloom to their fullest potential from spring until the first frost in part shade to heavy shade. 
Lobelia is an easy to grow, carefree plant that enjoys cooler weather. This summertime bloomer will continue to produce flowers up through the first frost in part shade. They prefer moist, rich soil and would make a terrific addition to window boxes, along the border, or wherever a cheerful splash of color is needed. Torenia, also known as the wishbone flower, is a shade-loving annual that produces adorable little trumpet-shaped flowers in an array of colors depending on the variety. They will bloom all summer until the first frost. The wishbone flowers are also deer resistant and attract hummingbirds. So instead of seeing your dimly lit, lifeless spot as a problem, it should be viewed as an opportunity to experiment with a wide range of plants that thrive under these conditions. Be sure to check the links in the description for additional information on growing plants in the shade. And let us know in the comments below which of these shade-loving plants you may add to your garden this season. Well, thanks for watching and happy gardening!